So yesterday the uh, schedule came out. Have you had a chance to uh, take a peek? And what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, uh, took a peek uh, a little bit and uh, just uh, checking what kind of games, which team we play or, or not. And well, kind of like expected. Uh, we kind of play almost every night. So uh, no, good. Uh, I think it doesn't matter. You know, we got. Uh, uh, we start a little bit on the on the road more than anything, but after you know, uh, at the end of the day, you got to win everywhere. So uh, I think it's good, and I don't know if there is a, it could be more difficult or less. I think every team right now in the NBA is tough, so uh, we just got to concentrate on ourselves and do the best we can. How do you anticipate that impacting the very young group of players that you'll be playing with this year? Well, you can look at that uh, two ways. You can say, uh, okay, in the road it's more difficult to play, but at the same time, you can grow up uh, faster if you, when you play on the road. So uh, I think it's going to be a challenge. Um, we got a new coach. I think everybody's excited about it. And um, I think it's going to be good. Uh, uh, I think with this short training camp, it's going to be uh, uh, really important to get uh, ready as soon as possible because you can beat a lot of teams because they're going to need more time to get, uh, to get ready. So I think we can surprise people at the beginning. So we've got to be concentrated for day one and start doing the things we're supposed to do and, uh, and talk to the coach as much as possible and watch videos if we need to. But we've got to be ready to win games at the beginning because, uh, like I said, there's going to be a lot of teams without players at the beginning because they need to sign free agency. And we've got 10 guys. So uh, we've got to uh, get that to our advantage. Now, uh, you mentioned the shortened training camp. What are you guys using these workouts here for right now? Well, I think you've got to be ready. Uh, you've got to be in shape. You've got to be ready to uh, when the, the ball, uh, the first day, the coach uh, Casey say, let's go, we've got to be ready to go. We've got to wait uh, for people to get in shape. We've got to be ready just to uh, start playing basketball, to start uh, putting stuff, uh, new stuff in, offense, defense, everything. So that's why everybody got to be ready from the beginning. Okay, lastly, uh, I noticed you working out with um, Alex McKechnie um, over the last few workouts. Uh, yeah. What do you think of what he's bringing to the team? What has he had you focusing and working out on? Well, a little bit different than what we used to. Uh, as you know, he's uh, the guy with the core X and all that stuff, so trying to uh, uh, prevent injuries and all that stuff, getting a little bit stronger. I know stronger like uh, big uh, wise, if not just uh, the whole thing, so the whole core and um, that's what mobility and all that stuff. So it's been great. A uh, few days with him, and I really feel it, so uh, just really Really good chemistry, great guy, so he looked pretty good. Jose, when you think about the short season, the fact that, you know, people on the outside are thinking physically, the injuries, the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back scenarios. From a mental perspective, isn't it a bit tougher than the physical side of it, potentially? I think so. I think so, because uh, we use a little bit more because uh, we play the Eurobasket, for example, and you play 11 games in 15 nights. Uh, you play three games in a row a lot of times, and, uh, and yeah, you're tired. But the, the team who is going to be more ready for that game mentally is the team who is going to win. Everybody's going to be tired at the end of the day. Everybody's going to uh, play back to back to backs. But you got to be just uh, fresh in your mind, you know. As it, okay, if you got to play that game a little bit less minutes, it's okay, you know. That's why we are a team. That's why we got to have 10, 15 players or whatever we need. But everybody got to be ready to play mentally. And I think if we can uh, uh, be able to. Uh, Forget what happened in the first two games, uh, even if you win or you lose or whatever, just focus in the game. You can win a lot of games. Uh, same thing, like I said, you can surprise people just being ready. The fact that you know, you've know you been away from the NBA for so long in terms of your career, this is probably the longest since you've been in the NBA. How do you effectively come back, hit the floor running, ready to go once the jump ball is going on? Well, for me, for example, like every, everybody got a different kind of summer. You know, uh, for me, it was perfect to have uh, like four weeks or five of training camp with Spain, Eurobasket, you know, the Euro Championship. And after that, I was uh, uh, ready to, uh, I got uh, the help to practice with the team there. And I was uh, like team chemistry, going twice a day. So I think it just, it's going to cost the first two days, you know, to get everything, you know, back to uh, the way we play here and all that stuff. But it's basketball. Uh, we're so used to it. Like, as soon as uh, the third day, everybody's going to be just in, like, kind of, like, automatic. And uh, you start just rolling.